Here are five things you should know about your blood sugar. Hi, I'm Danny Hamilton. Welcome to my channel. I am a nutritional therapist and blood sugar specialist. And here are the five things I want you to know about your blood sugar. Number one, blood sugar is not just for diabetics. Blood sugar affects every person and diabetes doesn't just happen one day. It is a spectrum of dysregulation. So what happens is that we get these blood sugar spikes and crashes and it happens more and more and more and this happens over years and decades and then all of a sudden we get diagnosed with prediabetes or diabetes or we have hypoglycemia, which is low blood sugar. Blood sugar impacts every single person and what we want to do is control it before it ever turns into diabetes. Number two. Your blood sugar impacts every cell, organ, and process in your body. It has effects on how we feel at every second of the day and also has huge effects on our long-term health. Number three, what does balanced blood sugar actually mean? I don't like the term balanced blood sugar because it doesn't really mean much. What I think people want to say is stable blood sugar. That's what we really want. Our body does not like when our blood sugar spikes high or crashes low. It really likes everything to be in this Goldilocks zone. So when we can keep our blood sugar in that zone, in these nice rolling hills, instead of these big giant mountain peaks and valleys, that's what our stable or balanced blood sugar really means. When our blood sugar is stable, we can feel energized, we have stable moods, our brain feels clear, we feel great, we can sleep well, we have balanced hormones. But then once we start to get those out of balance blood sugars, that's where we start to see all those symptoms come in. We can feel shaky and dizzy and hangry and anxious and have hormone issues, sleep issues, skin issues, mood issues, and so much more. Number four, which foods spike blood sugar the most? This would have to be the category of carbohydrates. So carbohydrates are things like fruits, even vegetables, but the ones that are above ground, like lettuce and peppers, those don't spike our blood sugar at all because they're mostly fiber. But the starchy vegetables, things like sweet potatoes, potatoes, rutabaga, beets, even carrots, those are starchier and that means that they have more components that turn into glucose or sugar when they digest. Things like grains such as wheat, barley, oats, rye, rice, corn, all of those things contain a lot of carbohydrates and really spike our blood sugar. Beans or legumes are another category that a lot of people think of as protein, but they are actually mostly carbohydrates. For some people, these can definitely cause blood sugar Sugar spikes and then we also have the category of just sugars so whether the sugar is natural or sort of processed like high fructose corn syrup it's still going to spike our blood sugar so yeah high fructose corn syrup is no good sugar is no good but also coconut sugar maple syrup honey all of these natural sweeteners will still spike our blood sugar. These are the natural foods for the most part, the whole foods, but then any foods that are highly processed, those are gonna spike our blood sugar big time. And if you have a whole food versus a processed form of that food, the processed form will always spike your blood sugar higher and faster. So let's take an example, a potato versus a potato chip. The chip has been dried and it basically melts in your mouth and it spikes your blood sugar really fast. Same thing with like an apple versus apple juice. The juice will spike you faster because it doesn't have the fiber. Number five, what other things besides food can impact your blood sugar? Stressors and hormones. Some stressors can be beneficial, like exercise. There are stressors like heat and cold. Depending on the state of your health and your adrenals, some people can tolerate these really well, and for others, it kind of pushes them into a bad range. It might make their blood sugar drop really low or cause their blood sugar to spike really high. Other times, like an argument can cause your stress to go up. And in general, if you find yourself being very stressed all the time, you might find either they're just in general higher levels of blood sugar or that your blood sugar is dropping quite often. Another stressor that can impact your blood sugar is light. And so light is not always a stressor, 
But if we have artificial lights, those can be stressors. When we have bright lights or blue light that often comes from white light bulbs like screens or TVs or computers, having these show onto our eyes and onto our skin at the wrong time of day is signaling the wrong thing for our body. So light can raise our cortisol levels. So if we open our phones first thing in the morning and have that bright light in our eyes, that can raise our blood sugar. If we have bright lights at night after the sun goes down or even just screens, we can actually be raising our blood sugar because it causes the release of cortisol, which can raise our blood sugar or for some people cause it to crash more. The other thing that can really impact our blood sugar are hormones. And so if we are at certain points in our menstrual cycle, we might find that this impacts our blood sugar. Sleep is another huge factor. So if we have a good sleep, we are are more predisposed to having good blood sugars, whereas the opposite is true as well. If we have a poor sleep, even just one night of poor sleep, we will have worse blood sugar the next day. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. If you want to learn more about testing your blood sugar and using continuous glucose monitors, make sure you sign up for my free Sugar Savvy program in the description below.